Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to install and set up PyCharm ID on Windows 11 for Python development. So let's get started. At first, ensure that you already have installed Python on your system. I already have installed Python 3.11.1 on my machine and then open your favorite web browser and browse this url zbrains.com click on developer tools and then click on pycharm now click on download in this page select windows tab Community Edition is full free. It will support you for pure Python development, but Professional Edition will support you for both scientific and web Python development with HTML, JS, and SQL support. I am going to download Community Edition. Click on this download link. It may take a while for downloading PyCharm Community Edition. After a successful download, open PyCharm ID. Simply double click on this executable file. and allow this app to make changes to your device here click on yes now click on next to continue now choose the installation location this is the default destination folder you can install another folder by browsing that folder where you want to install PyCharm and then click on next now select installation options configure your pycharm community edition installation create a desktop shortcut update path variable okay now click on next simply click on install here you will see a desktop icon of PyCharm Community Edition. It may take a while for extracting and copying files and installing. That's it. Your computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation of PyCharm Community Edition. I'm going to reboot my system. Select first option and then click on finish. Now open PyCharm IDE. Now I'm going to set up PyCharm for Python development. So click on customize. You can increase the font size of this ID from here. Open all settings and then select Python interpreter from this list and I am going to add a Python interpreter click here to add I'm going to add local Python interpreter click here here you will see this is the base Python interpreter now I'm going to create a Python virtual environment using virtual env package I'm going to create it on my user directory I'm going to name it my env Okay.
you can select this checkbox to inherit global site packages. Now click on OK. It may take a while for creating Python virtual environment. That's it. Now click on apply and then click on OK. Now our PyCharm ID is ready to working with Python interpreter. Now I'm going to create a Python project. Select projects tab and then click on this button to create a new Python project. Here, this is the project directory inside the user directory. And here, this is the project name. You can change this project name. I'm going to name it my first project. Okay. And then expand Python interpreter. Here you will see the virtual environment that you already have created so select this option or if you want to create a new python virtual environment select this option okay now you can check this box to create a python script that provides an entry point to coding in pycharm you can skip this option. It may take a while for loading projects. That's it. Python project has been created successfully. Now I'm going to create a file, a Python file and name it main and hit enter and also I'm going to write a simple Python script that will print a message Hello world. Now save this file. Run this simple program. Here you will see you can rerun this program by click on this rerun button. That's it. You can run this script on Python console. Click on this main.py file and right click on your mouse and select run file in Python console. The Python program run on Python console and here you will the output hello world. Now stop the Python console. That's it. Like, comment, and share. Thank you so much for watching this video.